With more and more of our everyday lives evolving around the use of the internet, cybersecurity has never been more important. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Kaspersky. It's one of the top antivirus softwares out there and I will give you my full and honest review. So with Kaspersky they offer three different solutions, depending on the level of security and the amount of features you want. The first one is just called antivirus, the second one is internet security and the third is total security. Now for today's review I'm going to be using the middle option, the internet security. I've taken full advantage of their 30 day free trial, but as with a lot of these companies they often like to compete with each other and offer discounts and deals and things like that. So if they do have any on at the time I'll put a link in the description so that you can take full advantage of that. So downloading and installing Kaspersky is very quick and easy indeed. It literally only takes a few clicks and then you're up and running. And when you open the software, you'll see it has a very simple and easy to use interface. Something that I really like here is that the options that you see on your screen are the options that are only available to you. So you're not going to have blacked out or greyed out areas and upgrade prompts and things like that. What you see is what you're getting on your actual subscription plan. And something else I'm really enjoying is there is no noticeable slowing down of your system's resources. You can run Kaspersky even when doing scans and you're not going to notice a reduction in speed of your computer at all. Now the first time that you open up Kaspersky it's going to give you a little run through of some of their main features and this is really handy so you can get to know the platform before you start using it in full. Now the first one is safe money. It says to protect your shopping and banking make sure your transaction is made from a protected browser with a green frame. Nobody will intrude into your personal life by remotely connecting to your webcam. The way this works is Kaspersky blocks every single application from being able to access the webcam. However, if you need to use your webcam in certain situations, such as making a Skype call, you can add Skype to your list of trusted apps and it will bypass this block. Feel free to browse privately in public networks and decide what data can be collected by third parties. And this next one's great for if you have kids. You can manage their screen time, you can block adult sites and inappropriate YouTube searches, and you can even view their location and check their battery level if they're using a mobile device. This also extends to social media, where you can monitor their public posts and you can see information like if somebody's added them as a friend. So it looks like they have a wide range of interesting features. So let's take a closer look at how some of these work. Now at the top of the panel here, you're going to see a section which will show us warnings and recommended actions which we should take. So for example, one of the recommendations here is to enable anti-banner. This is a great tool for blocking banners in your web browser and some applications. And in order to take their recommendation, we simply click enable here on the right. Now something that really does stand out with Kaspersky is their real-time protection. It really does do a great job. It constantly scans the system for anything that might cause a threat and it seems to work almost flawlessly. That being said, if you already have an infection on your computer or if something somehow manages to slip through the net, you can always run a manual scan. And something that I do want to highlight here is its extremely powerful anti-ransomware protection. Ransomware is a very dangerous type of malware that costs the world a lot of money every single year. So it's great that this software is capable of handling this dangerous threat. Now as you can see over on the left here it's also downloaded Kaspersky's password manager. With the subscription plan that I'm currently using it gives you the free version of password manager. If you upgrade to the total security plan, you'll get the full version. The difference here is you can only generate and store 15 passwords with the free version, so that may leave you a bit limited. But what it does is it generates highly secure passwords and it stores them all in one place. So all you need is a master password and from there you can automatically log into your sites without any hassle whatsoever. Now another great feature of Kaspersky is safe money. When you're making a purchase online, everybody wants to feel safe. We don't want to make a purchase knowing that the website is unsecure or people could be accessing our credit card information. Safe Money automatically detects when you're making a payment online and it will open up a new window and if this window has a green border around it, you know you're safe to continue. Now there's a lot of spyware viruses out there that can actually see what you're typing on your keyboard. So if you're typing sensitive information such as your address or your credit card details, people can actually record that information. So Kaspersky makes use of an on-screen keyboard. When you use this keyboard, everything you type is highly encrypted and it's not going to leave you vulnerable to cyber criminals. Now something that's of particular interest to me is their VPN service. With all three of their subscription plans, you have access to the free version of their VPN. 
Now there is a usage limit per day of 200 megabytes, and because it's the free version, unfortunately you can't connect to a location of your choice. This is where I feel that Kaspersky could be a little bit more generous, but the fact that you do have access to use a VPN is also a bit of a bonus. Now let's take a look at one of their other great features, which is their privacy cleaner. Now when you're connected to the internet, your operating system and mainly your web browsers are continuously collecting and storing information about your browsing activity. Privacy Cleaner makes it easy to remove all traces of this information. It has a simple system to choose which information you want to be kept and which information you want to be wiped. So in my opinion, the best value for money out of all of their subscription plans is the one that I've been using, the internet security option. It has many benefits over their most basic version and I feel that their advanced version doesn't quite have enough features to justify the increase in price. So with the internet security version I'm using, not only can you use it on your PC, but you can also use it on Mac and mobile. This is something I'll get into a bit more detail with on another video. As well as this, you have the added benefits of some of the great features we've shown, including safe money, the webcam protection, anti-spam, a private browsing browser extension that blocks ads and tracking cookies, and advanced anti-phishing protection. Now something which is often overlooked is a company's level of customer support. Now with Kaspersky, you're getting a wide range of options here, so there should never be any problems if you have any issues and you need to get them resolved. They have plenty of FAQs, you can contact them via email, they have live chat and phone support from 9am to 10pm, 7 days a week, you can contact them on social media and along with that they also have community forums. Now having said that, their response time isn't quite as quick as some of the other companies I've dealt with. They took 8 minutes to get back to me on the live chat, but when they did get back to me, my issue was resolved, so other than needing a little bit of patience, there's no complaints there. But one thing that I will mention, which may make you want to consider looking at other products as well, is that when you're signing up to them, they do tend to ask for quite a bit of your private information. To me, I'm not too fussed about this, but I can see a lot of people out there maybe wanting to consider other options. But when you are subscribing to them, make sure you take a look at each individual page of the privacy section, because there are a lot of things that you can choose to opt out of. So as a brief summary, Kaspersky is a very simple and easy to use, but very effective antivirus solution. There's virtually no impact on your system performance and the user interface is very simple to navigate. It's named as one of the top antivirus softwares out there and I have to say I do agree and it is one that I recommend. So if you did go ahead and want to get a subscription with them, be sure to check out the link in the description because if there's any discounts or deals on, I'll make sure I can save you some money there. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, stay safe online and I will catch you on the next video.